There's a rat called Radis. He's the leader of the bunch. A cat called Modigliana. Wow. She's fluffy, but she's tough. Darren, he's a dopey dog. Mix, he's a mother that mixed up bunny. That's the barrels for ya. Don't mess with the barrels. The barrels, they're gonna get you that the barrels. Stop sniffling, Mixie. You can't beat the smell of fresh garbage in the evening. Yeah, I love garbage day. There's always something new to find at the tip. Yeah, look what I found. A basket. It's got a hole in it, dear room. Well, it'll never get full. I had to ask. Look! I found a treasure too! Wow, a star map. A what? A star map. It's how spaceships find their way around outer space. Oh, the only space around here, Darren, is the one inside your head. Oh. If it's a star map, what's that hole in? This is where the planet Earth is supposed to be. Looks more like Pluto to me. <laughs> Look what I found. Nunchuckers. What's a skipping rope? Fur brain. Oh. <laughs> Nunchuckers. Shut up, breath! Oh, you wouldn't know nunchuckers if they came up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nunchuckers. How come you haven't found anything to tip tonight, Bratis? Because I'm looking for something really valuable. Something you'd never find in a million years. <laughs> what? A rat with a brain? <laughs> no, a car. <laughs> you can laugh, but soon you'll be begging me to take you for a spin. Wrong, Rattus, because I'm going to take you for a spin. You? How? <laughs> There's got to be a tip someplace where a poor but charming rat like myself can find a half-decent car. <laughs> hey! Oh, sorry. How's it going? Uh, it's gonna take a while. There's nothing in my books at all about flying food. Look, Lenny, I'm really grateful for all the work you've done, but, um, I don't think I'll be needing it. What with my publicity campaign <laughs> and rocket-powered deliveries? Uh, your what? Rocket-powered rollerblades <laughs> for the pizza deliverers. <laughs> Beats me why someone hasn't tried it before. <laughs> what? Ruby, what happened? Rocket-powered rollerblades happened. Have you made your will, Joe? Okay, okay, I admit it. We still got a couple of wrinkles. Wrinkles? Your wrinkles nearly killed me. Look, Robbie, I'm only on trial for three more days. Now, i got to show him I'm the right guy for the job. Now, all we got to do Not is... Not we, Joe, you. You're the one who wanted to be Planet Pizza publicity promoter. You wear them. If I get the job, I can help your career. It's not a career. It's a dumb part-time job. And you have made it into a full-time nightmare. Ah, it's always the same, isn't it? When it comes down to it, us visionaries have got to do it alone. Uh, except the Lenny. Hmm? Could you keep working on that flying pizza? You bet. Think of all the space junk up there. The moon must be the biggest rubbish tip in the universe. Hey, Spaceships. And best of all, a moon buggy. A moon buggy? Leftover from the moon landings. Keys still in the ignition. Just waiting for me to drive away. Yeah, sure, Captain Kirk. And how do you plan on getting me? Oh, how hard can it be? The moon isn't that far away. How'd you work that out, Einstein? Well, how far away is the tip? About a block. And can you see it from here? Yeah. 
Can you see the moon from here? Yeah. Well then, it's got to be closer than the tip. Ergo, i.e. and ipso facto, the moon is less than a block away. Not we, Veggie Breath. Me. Oh, come oh, on, we go as well. It's my idea. I'm going on my own. You still haven't said how, cheese brain. Uh, don't worry, I'll figure something out. It can't be that hard. Ow! Dear. <sighs> Engine fired up to achieve maximum escape velocity. Check. Angle of elevation 16 degrees above the horizontal. Yeah. Land and pad ready for re-entry. Chick. Okay. Prepare for countdown. Ten, nine, eight. Are you at us? You sure your body can handle oh. the G-force? G-force? What's the G stand for? Oh. Ah! G for gum tree. <laughs> oh. Wow, going to the moon. This is just like Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, we'll let go of the basket. We don't want any Klingons. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain Ruddus. Soon that moon buggy will be all mine. Basket connected. Check. Balloon stabilised. Check. Hairdryer plugged in. Check. But I think the pilot's unplugged. Okay, then. Beam me up. We go. Bye. See ya. See you later. Bye. See ya. Well, what do you know? A flying rat. Yeah. Wish me darts when I need them. Oh, looks like you lose the bet, Keith. He's really flying this time. Yeah, but for how long? <laughs> Starlong, on the first day of the year of the rat. The hot airship Enterprise set off on its historic voyage to the moon. Nothing would stop Captain Rennes now. <laughs> uh -oh. <gasps> what? What a pity! <laughs> uh oh. Coming along. Ugh, you really want to know? Lenny, my job as planet pizza publicity promoter depends on it. I mean, it can't be that hard to make a pizza fly. Well, Joe, I'm afraid the ratio of centrifugal force to forward velocity is causing a tangential arcing of non cohesive mass. Ah. Come again? Uh, just go over there and I'll show you. <laughs> okay, catch! Bits of anchovy and olive are flying everywhere. Oh, you should see what happens to the super duper double special. Oh, look, Lenny, I know you can do it. My trial period ends tomorrow. I'm desperate. Well, Joe, I don't know. You must have come up with at least one good publicity stunt. Well, yeah, well, there is today's stunt. I changed all those boring old pizza flavors to exciting new space age toppings. <laughs> that sounds like a winner. <laughs> well, if it isn't God's gift to marketing. In the flash. <coughs> Here, you can take them back. Ah, can I have one of those? Sure. How about the Martian pizza topped with marshmallows? You're kidding. Or the moon pizza <coughs> made entirely out of green cheese. <laughs> or Joe's masterpiece, the Beetlejuice pizza using real. Beatles. Oh, no way. You didn't. Hey, well, no one else has got flavours like that. Well, take them away. Exactly what the customer said. Here, Joe, you invented them. You eat them. Hey. Bon appetit. My bottomless basket. <laughs> Theron should have no trouble on the moon. He's been off this planet for years. And 
Have you been to the toilet? There aren't any trees on the moon. Yeah. That was real generous of you to let me go in your place, Redis. <sighs> Just call it a lucky break, there's a... Oh. Oh, I've got enough breaks to last me a lifetime. Oh. Sign bet? Nah, it'll fly all right. Ten, nine, so what do you want to bet on this time? Six, five, four. You're on. Let's go. One. Blast off! You know, Radis, seeing you like this somehow makes this whole pointless exercise worthwhile. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cat Guts, just you wait. <laughs> Five bucks says you're wrong. Huh? Yeah, well, you've done your day. <laughs> well, you don't have to be so smug about it. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, quick, fight! Oh, yeah. Is this the moon? Lenny! Hi! Uh, do you mind if I hide out and hang out here for a while? Uh, sure. L listen, those, those sirens wouldn't have anything to do with you, would they? Me? Yeah. No! No, 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 no! <laughs> Definitely not. I had hardly anything to do with that fire. Uh, uh, hardly anything? Lenny, uh, hypothetically speaking, would you say that uh, simulating a small nuclear explosion in the car park of a pizza restaurant would be an imaginative publicity stunt? Imaginative, yes. A wise mug. I think I probably agree with you. Hello? Is this the moon? Is anybody there? Oh, hello. Are you the man in the moon? Yes. Greetings, Earthling. Uh, greetings, Moon Thing. I come in peace. Huh? And judging by your goggles, you come in pieces. <laughs> My name is Darren. Oh, oh me arm! Oops. Me arm! You ripped off me arm! Sorry, it was an accident. Oh, to touch Blizzfink, King of the Moon creatures is an act of treason. To rip his arm off is an act of war. Uh oh. I will lead an attack on your puny planet immediately. Can this sticky Two tape? Two more fellow earthlings to prepare for their complete well, destruction. What didn't mean to? I am exactly one hour. Is that moon time or earth time? Be gone! Uh Nixie. Darren's been gone a long time, Radis. Oh, I bet that miserable mud has bungled again. <sighs> Gee, Radis, what could possibly have gone wrong? You only sent a brain dead dog to the moon in a garbage can! <laughs> Run for your lives! We're being invaded by aliens! Oh, Darren! It's true! I met the king of the moon. He's going to invade Earth. Where's my moon buggy? I'm telling you, it was a horrible, frightening monster with tentacles. I pulled one off. Yeah, and I suppose you brought it back as a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Now do you believe me? They'll be here any minute. Too beautiful to die. And I'm too smart. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's approach this calmly, logically, and take proper effective action. Oh, we could, uh. Or maybe, uh. Then again, we could, uh. <laughs> The aliens are coming. Uh, oh, they're not here. Oh, the aliens have got them too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Finish. 
to a perfect day. Oh, great, Lenny, just great. <laughs> Flew, didn't it? Yes, ran into me at full speed. Thank you very much. Well, you shouldn't have tried to catch it then. Oh, your flying pizza was my last hope. I'm only on trial until tonight. On trial? You should be in jail. You should be at the pizza place. Why? No one else is. They wouldn't wear these stupid suits. All I want is just one decent publicity stunt. Face it, Joe, your publicity career is stunted. Uh, what happened to you? The ferals mugged me. What? They thought I was an alien, thanks to boy genius here. Uh, uh, yeah, we saw them running around outside screaming that aliens are coming, aliens are coming. Uh, uh, uh. Lighten up, guys. This isn't funny, Joe. You can say that again. Lighten up, guys. Look, you don't understand UFO hysteria. I mean, the panic could spread and the whole town could go crazy. The whole town, the whole country even. Look, mass hysteria, I mean, it's very catching, especially if it gets in the newspapers. Newspapers? And TV crews, they'll be everywhere looking for aliens. TV crews? I mean, people will be glued to their radios, listening for landings. The whole city will be caught up in UFO madness. UFO madness? Wow! <laughs> uh, gee, th that sounds horrible, Lenny. Look, uh, you stay here. I'll handle the ferals. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is where we make our stand. No space aid squid. No cosmic calamari's gonna get us here. Yeah! Windows? Locked! Ceiling? Sealed! Holes in the wall? Boarded up. Right. Then nothing can get in. Anybody home? We forgot the door. Hey, guys, up. Uh, hello? Uh, barrels? Maybe Leonard was always an alien. Anybody home? Let's attack him just in case. Fire! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, yeah! Cut it out! Yeah! Cut it out! Yeah! Stop it! Yeah! You can't be an alien, guys. Our secret weapons aren't having much effect. Secret weapons? Germ warfare. The tissues are full of Mixie's cold germ. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys are disgusting. Oh. Oh, did Joe come and see you? Nah. Oh, that's funny. He was going to. The aliens have got him! Yeah. There are no aliens. Oh, yes, there oh, are. Yeah, 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 hey, calm down, calm down. There are no aliens. Trust me. Oh, sure. We're going to listen to a guy with anchovies in his house. Yeah. Oh, well, yuck. Oh. Look, all I'm saying is that there's probably been a simple misunderstanding. I mean, there's no aliens within several million light years of here. <laughs> No aliens, huh? Well, let's not jump to conclusions, guys. I mean, there's probably a very simple explanation. Yeah, it's probably just a giant passenger carrying frisbee. Or an electric-powered hat. It looked like a flying saucer to me. Front. What? Darren, the rear. Mixie, the side. Hey, what? Which side are you covering? The inside. Hold it! Hold everything. Guys, you're overreacting. That flying saucer was just some sort of illusion. No, it wasn't. I just heard on the radio, flying saucers have been seen all over town. Oh. The city is in a panic, just like you said. Oh, oh. This is crazy. I mean, what would aliens want from us? Oh. This might sound silly, but something's been into my lighting equipment for my gigs and taken all sorts of things. Oh. They do that. I saw it in a movie once. Aliens steal all sorts of weird things to fix their spaceships. Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, some alien has stolen Robbie's lighting gear to fix its ship. It wouldn't get very far. <laughs> oh, spaceships. I told you, they crashed. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, I'm not staying here on my own. For your own safety, don't get too close to the crater. I repeat, do not get too close to the crater. Boy, who died to make Joe the boss? Yeah, thought that was your job. Now these guys have actually seen an alien, haven't you guys? Yes, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We 
He did, didn't he, Mix? He did. Yeah. It's my fault they're invading us, because I accidentally pulled his arm off. Uh, yeah. Now, Darren, did you bring this flag with you to wave at the alien? <laughs> no. This is a star map, in case the aliens get lost in space and uh, need yeah. to find... Now, uh, <laughs> over here is an old bloke who reckons that the aliens have been transmitting through his teeth billings. Are you sure you want to get this close? I thought you were afraid of aliens. Us? <laughs> We've already beaten up one alien. Yeah, we ain't afraid of no space bug. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, guys. It's just a scientist at yeah. the space agency. Oh, 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 this must be serious if they're here. Hey, what did they do? Investigate alien sightings. Yeah, if they catch one, they take it away and do tests on it. Oh. Wow, like an ET. With needles. And scalpels. And machines that go ping. Oh, what's this? What's my basket doing here? I left it on the moon. But if it's here... That means that Bone Brain travelled all the way to the tip! Are you beginning to smell a rat? Excuse me? It's not a rat I'm smelling. It's... Something is moving. Something's coming out! You wouldn't have a space moon buggy. Nice cat. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, go, Bill. Ah, yeah. oh, we did it. Guys, hold it. Would you like to read a flying saucer? Oh. Let's get Alien writing will be famous. Oh. Let's have a look. Eat at planet. Pizza for the best pizzas in the universe. Oh. <laughs> oh. Good publicity stunt, huh? But, but what about the flying saucer? The flying pizza dish. The fireball? Your slingshot and some burning rubbish. Oh. And guess what happened to my lighting equipment? <laughs> yep. Uh. Now will you untie me, please? Uh, Lenny, we could... Uh... Oh, thanks, Radis. Uh, uh, Lenny, that's not what I... Uh, excuse me, Mr. Space Scientist. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, uh, this alien you. is all yours. Be gentle with him. Yeah, especially with the needles. And the scalpels. And the machines that go ping. Oh, anyone, help! Ah, couldn't have happened to a nicer space slug. <laughs> <laughs> But she's tough. Darren is a dopey dog. Mixie's a mother that mixed up bunny. That's the barrels for ya. Don't mess with the barrels. The bear. Marshmallow pizza. You've already had five. Oh, tastes like beetles too. <laughs> Ta-da! Well, it's not much, but it's a start. You know, Redis, I've been thinking. I've warned you about that, Dizzy. If we put ten times the fireworks under the rubbish bin and all climb in, well... Darren! <laughs> <laughs>